All right, so the dig away, picking up from number 80 on the Phoenix Firewheel Grid. <clears throat> 80, um, struggling with nothing. Struggling with nothing, honestly. Eight, the war is in my head. Zero, I am everything. If the war is in my head, but I am everything, what the fuck am I struggling with? I'm only struggling with myself. What do you mean struggling with myself? I'm struggling with my choices. I keep choosing to give things the benefit of the doubt, or I keep choosing, choosing things that I think they're going to show me a better me, which means that there's an issue with how I see myself. So number 80, you need to slow down and make sure that you are seeing yourself from the most perfected format of love. And I don't mean that love vibration. I mean, I, I love who I am. I, I know I got some fucked up things, but you know what? I'm taking accountability for my own fucked upness. And before I issue um, any more or authorize any more experiences with others, I got to make sure I have a perfected experience of myself. See, that's full on accountability and responsibility. You know what? I may not be quote unquote perfect, but I'm working on me. And before I get out here and let somebody else work me over or work somebody else over, I'm going to sit my punk ass down and be still. Why? Because... If I'm my own struggle, I don't need to be anybody else's war. Or if I'm my own struggle, I don't need to take on anybody else's war, to be fair. So 80, pay attention to 8. <clears throat> um, it's really just that simple. And here we go, shuffling the cards. Today is 210. <clears throat> Today is 210, which is a 21 and a 0. The world will show you everything. The world will show you where you fooled yourself. So uh, I won't be surprised if a bunch of 21s or 12s come up today. 21, 12s, and 3s. Because that's, that's kind of like the vibration is. But um, we'll see what, what we have for 80 where I ain't struggling with nothing. So if you ain't struggling with nothing, don't struggle with yourself. <clears throat> Figure out where you're sharing your energy. Figuring out where you're sharing your energy. This is the 9. I'm staying at my highest vibration. That way I don't have to control shit and I will not be controlled by nothing. I'm going to keep that one short and simple because it really is a sweet thing. When you're dealing with Phoenix energy, who you share your energy is a direct deflect, reflect on where you're going to um, issue your fire. And your fire is um, either going to burn you or it's going to allow you to stay in a full flow. <clears throat> so from 80, we go into 81. And what was 81? 81 was a 9. 81 is the reflection point of 18, which is the moon, your emotions, where you tend to get caught up in trying to choose the difference between illusions and reality. So 81, I'm struggling with what I know, or I'm struggling with the potential to do things. That's um, uh, a steel mind is a dangerous thing. Steel mind is a dangerous thing when you're only in danger. And I saw this earlier and I was going to post something about it, but I'm trying to stay out of y'all, you know, levels of thinking. But think about this. <clears throat> Every time you figure out you have to empty the clip on somebody else, that means you're still in the mission that you're still a weapon. I don't have to empty the clip on nobody. I have to empty the clip in me and put the fucking gun down. Why am I weaponized? Why I am so e why am I so easily traumatized into getting out here and trying to control somebody else that already told me the only thing they got for me is some bullshit. Struggle. So 81, I'm a struggle with everything that I give my potential to. But if I keep my potential to me, then holy shit, 8 plus 1 is 9. I'm already at my highest vibration and I'm already in control because I don't have to control nothing and ain't nothing controlling me. So 81, before you get emotional, before you figure out why everything moving you, figure out why the fuck you can't keep still. 81, figure out why the fuck you can't keep still. Oops, told you these 12s, the 21s, and the 3s are going to come see you today. And they're all variations of a 9. 333, three, three, mind, body, soul. 9. So, 81, you have a 12. The ritual. Sacrifice. If I am my own struggle, but I'm about to move my potential to somebody else, holy shit, there's two battles. The struggle with myself because I didn't have enough um, love for myself or enough awareness and responsibility to keep still. And now I got to go through some bullshit with whoever or whatever I gave my energy. The hang man, your hangups, your hangups, thinking that you always got to do, thinking that somebody else got more of your peace than you have your wholeness. Same shit, different day. 81, sit your punk ass down to be still and stay in your highest vibration. Stop plugging to all this shit 
is only designed to take your energy. And that which takes your energy treats you to death. 82. <clears throat> Again, with 81, pay attention to 8, pay attention to 1, pay attention to 18. Of course, pay attention to 81. 8, 1, 18, 9, and then the primary reading, 81. 82. The war in my head is with the reflection of everything I see. But if the reflection of everything I see should be me, then again, coming right back to where the war was, the war was in me. But if the war in me is going to reflect in everything I see out here, the fact that I keep going through shit, the fact that people keep testing me, everything happens to you, not for you. The fact that everybody keep testing you, the fact that everything you, you keep trying and failing means that you might want to do something different and stop trying to employ the same. Spiritual I-I-82. Put that shit down. Put what down? Your traditions, your beliefs, your patterns, your cycles, your mindset that has already told you it's got to be this way. When life has showed you, oops, you'll never see that what you thought you saw. And you're probably seeing too much of what you should have never saw in the first place. Get it, 82? Disengage from what the fuck you think you know. Two is what? Knowledge. Eight is what? Struggle. What am I struggling with? What I know. <clears throat> if you are struggling with what you know, put that shit down and become aware. A lot of the shit that people know out here is only a derivative of the shit that um, got them enslaved. Enslaved to experience, but too ignorant to set yourself free. So 82, don't be too ignorant to set yourself free. Don't be too ignorant to set yourself free. Why? Because two, what I know is my highest vibration. Nine. Now, because all it's going to do is keep you loving the same shit that keeps making you not make it to the top of the hill. It's going to keep you stuck down there in the low, out here in the field where everybody else playing in too much energy, but not making it to the mountain hill, the top of the mountain hill where I'm safe from all the fluids. Stability. 82, when I'm struggling with what I think I know, it might stop my ability to be free. But only you know that, so let your life tell your tale. Because again, two, the reflection of nine, my highest vibration, which I think I can control. See, I can control what I know. Now, what you know often controls you. Why? Because two plus nine is 11. Half the time, that shit's an illusion because holy shit, there's two different perspectives. You can't guarantee one of them real. So why not pull your energy out of both of them? Why? Because one plus one shows me two, what I thought I know. But if what I thought I know or what I thought I knew doesn't have any guarantees, the only thing it's going to guarantee is it's going to take my fucking energy. Oops. 83. I'm struggling with my thoughts or I'm struggling with what everything I keep communicating with or I'm struggling with these thoughts that keep communicating with me. Well, where do the thoughts come from? I don't know. I don't know where the thoughts come from, but then shh. Silence your mind and start tracing them motherfuckers. Because even if you're going to authentically trick yourself and say, well, them ain't my thoughts. They don't come from me because I'm not the source and there's a God. And there's thoughts that came from everywhere. And all this other bullshit that you can tie your mind into. When you start tricking yourself into saying that you don't have accountability and responsibility to where the thoughts came from, you better have a fucking awareness of where they're going to take you. 83, you better have awareness of where your thoughts are going to take you or else you're going to fucking pull yourself in all many, too many different directions. So 83, sit down, and before I struggle with what it means to keep communicating with me, erratic thoughts, um, things that want to take my energy and bring it into a higher sense of creation, aka thought farming, predictive programming, thought subscription, um, cyclic patterning, social media, um, subliminal programming type things, and, that, and that's a heavy thing. And I've been telling y'all this for years. Around the same time, almost every year, a lot of you higher energetic imprint people, people who have a higher capacity for energy, y'all start having these crazy ass dreams. Y'all start having these crazy ass cyclic thoughts. You keep seeing doomsday shit. You keep seeing things that are petitioning for your energy to help create it. And they do it in mass fashion. But if you have more response to the things you're seeing in your head, then the responsibility for or why the responsibility for why I'm seeing it or whether it is authentic to me, then it's just like it's just like politics. They got your vote. And now they got control over you. So don't be controlled by the things you're seeing. A stop struggling with what you're seeing in your head and start having awareness of why I'm seeing it in the first place. 
why am I being bothered by all these these extra thoughts? They're not in line. They're not in conducive with what I got working on for me. So therefore, the motherfuckers are automatically dismissed. Does that mean they're going to stop? No. Does it mean you get stronger and more energetically whole to where it's harder for them to get into your path? Yes, it does. But it's a consistency thing. So 83, 8 plus 3 is 11. Remember, I just told you, <laughs> stop separating yourself into the, the shit that means to separate you. That's a fool's errand. Hi, this fool's errand. What are you going to do? Pull you apart? What do you mean pull you apart? Give me your energy and I'll show you. See, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you how I'm going to hold myself together. But I'm going to pull you apart. No, you're not. I'm telling you, I'm going to pull you apart. All I need is your energy. Okay. Energetically, that's how a lot of y'all are. <clears throat> this ain't particularly for you, 83, but it's for everybody. Because remember, we're all numbers. Think about that bullshit with the uh, the black guy that got killed by black cops. All right, uh, tonight at 8 o'clock, we're going to release the video film. So you niggers, I'm sorry. So you idiots, I'm sorry. So you black people are going to be stupid enough to watch us kill another one of you. But only this time is by you people. So see, it's not really that bad. But we still need your energy because we're desensitizing you to watching you die on camera while nothing gets done about it. <laughs> Tune in at 8 o'clock. And you dumb fuckers go do it. 83. You keep struggling with everything that wants you to struggle. Because it is creating the struggle. By creating the struggle that's already been created in you. Stop creating the struggle. Kind of like what I said a few minutes ago. You ain't got to un unload the clip on nobody else. You just got to stop being a motherfucking gun. Stop being the fucking idiot that is going to get plugged into everything that means to keep you stupid. Learn. Da -da, nine, which is looking like a six. I need to understand my foundation. They mean to traumatize me where I'm already traumatized, so I can't be found there. If I am being exposed to anything that is going to re-expose me to traumas that I have not fixed within myself, then it is not smart for me to put myself in that energy. But on a higher sense, I need to quit covering my pain. I need to quit covering the fact that I know there's parts of me that I need to heal and you have not made the strides to realize that I need to release the ideology of healing it by facing it and figuring out why, they're, why or whether it's even real. You understand? A lot of times, y'all are going to, and this is for, again for everybody, but particularly for you, 83. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and own this one. <clears throat> a lot of y'all have this false ideology that you got to heal this inner child. I got to feel, I got to heal this 22-year-old me or this 19-year-old me or this 31-year-old me. Them motherfuckers have already passed on and they are encouraging you. Healing them, in that sense, changes who you are now. So guess what you can do? Be who you are now, and then none of that shit that you went through really holds a higher end relevance because it's already transpired. It's already taken place. I can't heal it. I can honor it for what it was, good or bad, and understand that it only led me to where I'm at now. Now, guess what? Take responsibility and accountability for where I'm going next. Ain't has shit to do with none of that shit. Covet who I am and stay in my highest vibration or keep trying to find out where I made my low so I can find a better way to get into my highs. It's bullshit. All the healing you need is already within you. The only thing you're healing when you keep looking back at your past or you keep trying to perfect your future is the energy that is going to use you in getting there. And sometimes the energy that's using you to get there ain't really about you. It's just about getting you there. You get it? Experience. Not all experiences are designed for you. And some of y'all will do well to learn that. <clears throat> so last one I'm going to do real quick is 84. 84 hasn't even been accounted for to this point on 210. 83 is as high as this grid has made it. <clears throat> but I'll go ahead and do 84 because, again, we're all numbers. <clears throat> 83, pay attention to 83, 38, 11, 3, 8, 1, and 2. 84, pay attention to 48, pay attention to 12, pay attention to 1, pay attention to 2, pay attention to 3, pay attention to 8, and pay attention to 4. <clears throat> but 84. I'm struggling with balance, but balance is a trap. So I'm only struggling to find a, a safer way to stay in the trap. No, nope. I need to stop struggling. <clears throat> this is, the, again, I used this analogy before. This is the child standing in two feet or, or drowning in two feet of water. All you got to do is stand up. All I got to do is quit trying to fight the waters that's drowning me and stand up and realize, was I really in danger? 84, are you really in danger? For whoever get this spot, are you really in danger? Are you just struggling with trying to find balance when balance was the trap? 
Why? Because if I'm struggling inside, nothing else should take place. 84, the fact that you're struggling on the inside means there should be nothing else going on. I got to direct all energies towards that. Think about Star Trek. Holy shit, Captain, the shields are failing and we're about to go into Klingon territory. Well, holy shit, before I worry about firing a weapon, I need my motherfucking shields. See, if you're going to conduct a war, I need to make sure I'm properly shielded. So I need to fix the things going on with me or holy shit, everything that hits me is going to hurt me. 84, you need to fix your shields. Redirect the, the shields to the number one generator. You're the number one generator, 84. I'll shuffle one more time, just for shit's sake. Shit's sake. 84, it has to be all about you, or you're going to get out here and you're going to be into an account with everybody else trying to find balance. Holy shit. 30, you're going to be the hermit that fell off the mountain. But what I just get to telling you a few minutes ago, the hermit is the one that makes it to the mountaintop and reviews, but understands that they need to stay still. This hermit went back and looked at it and became it again. Bloop. Because I want to go back and find a better way of doing it. Nope, sorry. You've already eaten as, as that experience. Let it go before it ends up eating you. This is the king of earth. I am ruled over by what I believe in. But if I keep believing that I need to go back and heal the part of me, I might change the part of me that might already have been healed. Oops, 84, sit your punk ass down and be still. There ain't nothing to keep overcoming to. You just need to make sure that you succumb to the thoughts that mean to pull you apart. Succumb to them, let them go. Not succumb to them as in feed them and keep coming over to them, but succumb to them like, man, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me. Not my motherfucking circus, not my motherfucking monkeys. Peace, I'll be back with 85.